from being on top of the world a few months ago, hinting at a move up in weight class after a devastating loss to Adesanya. Here's what Alex Pereira has said about his future. Starting with, Pereira said he's okay after losing his belt to the last style bender. No one saw it coming though. Izzy stunned the whole world with that knockout of Pereira. I mean, a lot of us were certain that Adesanya was going to win, but the way he won, no one was sure about that. It was absolutely shocking. Poatan didn't know what hit him. Everyone was concerned about his health and his future plans after that match. Some even thought that it was over for him as far as the UFC was concerned. But the 35-year-old took to Twitter to clear up all the confusion. First of all, he assured his fans that he was completely healthy and fine. And although he didn't say anything about his future plans, it almost looked like he hinted at moving up in weight class. The Brazilian said, I just want to let you all know that I'm fine, and now I'm just going to rest and move on with the future, as per the plans that are already in motion. He said all this by posting a video of him and Izzy showing respect to each other after the fight. And not only has he himself hinted at a switch in weight class, President Dana White has also indicated that. White also claimed that Poetan might end up moving to the light heavyweight division. It looks like Pereira only needs a bit of rest before eventually stepping inside the octagon once again. And in the post-fight presser, Dana White said that he thinks Pereira might switch to 205 pounds after this fight. He added that Alex is a monster, but a move up in weight now looks like his destiny. This is also something that he's hinted at previously, and the rumors about this started a very long time ago. At UFC 283, after Jamahal Hill won against Glover Teixeira, there were rumors that Poatan might be thinking about avenging Glover's loss. Now why would he do that? Because Teixeira is a fellow Brazilian and his training partner as well. Plus, Izzy even talked about it as well. He said during his own presser with the media that his rival might be working on moving up in weight, rather than trying for a rematch. He's attacking that right leg as well, that calf. And after his loss at UFC 287, there's no doubt that a move up to the light heavyweight division is probably the best option for the Brazilian right now. And now he has confirmed that he's moving to the light heavyweight division. Yeah, that's true. All those rumors now have a life after he himself said that he'd be moving up. Pereira knows that he's done everything he could do in the middleweight division, and now's the time to bid farewell to it and move to 205. In an official announcement, the former middleweight champ said that his next fight will be at 205 pounds. He said he's done his work, and he's feeling good about moving to light heavyweight. Pereira said he's always made weight at middleweight, but now it's time for him to switch. Even though he didn't name any potential opponents, he did take this opportunity to warn his arch-rival, Adesanya, once again. Alex said that he's got no problem going down again, because of his ability to make 185 pounds whenever he wants to. Poetan said, let's wait and see how Adesanya behaves, stopping Izzy from doing anything that could provoke the former champ. He even said he was interested in fighting Adesanya again, and if he insisted insists on it. The UFC and Pereira's promoters will make it happen. Whoa, now that's huge. Even though he's left the middleweight division, he left it by leaving a warning for the current champ, Izzy. It even looked like Pereira knew who he was going to fight, because he said I couldn't tell you about the opponent yet, but I will keep you guys posted. The way he said it, it looks like he knows who's next. Also, fighters have already started sharing their thoughts about this move. Jiri Prohashka said he's glad to have a good warrior like Alex in the middleweight. Poetan has already started making waves in the light heavyweight division after his announcement, and the former light heavyweight champ, Prohashka, thinks that Pereira can be a very good addition to the division. 25, we are set to go. Main event of LFA number 95, Pereira and Pal
He had to vacate his title last year after suffering a very serious shoulder injury, but he's analyzed Pereira now as a guy with a lot of skills. Giri added that Alex is very tall, which is why he's looking forward to seeing him at light heavyweight, and that the lightweight division needs guys like him, guys who are as powerful as him. This is the division where they can showcase their powers and skills to the world. Look, there's no doubt he was in deep, deep trouble. Also, it seems highly unlikely that Pereira will take on Jamahal Hill, because Prohashka's in the running to fight him next. He's eyeing a return later in the summer to fight for the championship, but he thinks that Pereira should be taking on a top-ranked fighter from the 205-pound division in his debut fight, because of course, Poetan himself is a top fighter, or in Jiri's words, Pereira's a good warrior. Speaking of Poetan's debut, a certain UFC legend has advised him to stay away from one fighter in the division. Yes, DC has warned Pereira. Daniel Cormier thinks that the Brazilian shouldn't think about taking on Magomed Ankalaev in his division debut, because according to DC, Magomed's wrestling abilities are insane, and he might be too much for Alex. Now we might be right on this one, because Magomed's unbeaten in the light heavyweight division in his last 10 fights, and he also just missed out on winning the vacant championship after his bout with Jan Blachowicz which ended in a draw last December. Daniel said this in a video on his YouTube channel. He said Magomed's the only fighter in the division right now who's in top form, and he's the one Alex should steer clear of. Although Pereira himself is pretty good at wrestling, but Cormier thinks there's no one better at it than the Russians. In fact, he also has an opponent in mind for Poetan. He thinks Pereira should take on Jan Blahowicz in his debut fight, now that he won't be fighting for the championship anytime soon. And this one could be a very very exciting matchup. Both of them are insane fighters, and to see them take on each other would be great. Speaking of fighting for the championship, UFC president Dana White has confirmed it won't be happening in his debut fight. White said he needs to beat someone in order to be considered for the title, and White isn't wrong at all. To get your shot at the title, there's a certain path you need to take. You have to climb up the ladder and then get your desired fight. Dana said we can't just put him in contention for the title fight. He needs to beat someone first in order to even be considered in contention. White said Pereira needs to beat a real guy before thinking about a shot at the title. Now, I don't know who that real guy could be, but the president said that we're working on finding out that guy for him. Let's see who he ends up getting. Also, for those of you who didn't know, this won't be the first time Pereira will be fighting at light heavyweight. He fought in the division two years ago. That's when he defeated Artem Vakhitov to win the promotion's belt at the weight class. It was a time when he was in all his glory, ready to take on on anyone put in front of him. Right now, there isn't any official announcement about his opponent, but Poetan said in his YouTube video that he's working on it, and that'll update us on his channel as soon as he finalizes an opponent. Blahowicz seems to be the fan's favorite. Let's hope Dana gets this fight done soon. That's all from me on Pereira's future plans.